What is going on guys? Welcome back to the 3D Print Farming channel. Here's a sneak peek at a new design I've been working on. I've got a lot of great feedback for the Nintendo Switch Mini TV that I designed. So here's a different design that also holds the Nintendo Switch screen. And this is a retro style arcade display. So just like the Mini TV, this product is gonna be held together with an adhesive. I'm gonna be using 3D Gloop, but I won't be using it in this video because this is the V1 prototype and I still need to make a few changes. So I'm gonna do my best to assemble this without any adhesive, just so I can go over my thought process while creating this design and what the different pieces are for. So this product is gonna require six different pieces for assembly. These are the two side panels. This is the middle section. This is for the front screen. This is the back and this is the removable top. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this. These are the two side panels. And as you can see, I have these cut out so you know exactly where the pieces go and everything will line up perfectly. So first I'm gonna grab one of the side panels, grab this middle section. And as you can see, this will line up perfectly like that. Now, if I was assembling this product for a customer getting ready to ship out, I'd put adhesive right here just to create that permanent bond. But like I said, this video is just an overview of the V1 prototype. So once you have the middle section attached to the first side panel, we're gonna grab the front screen and this will line up perfectly right here. Just like that, snaps into place. I'm gonna grab the other side panel and this will line up on the other side, just like that. So as far as adhesive, this would be it. You're only gonna be gluing these four two pieces together and these other two pieces are meant to not have any adhesive. You could slide these in and out. After you assemble the middle section, the front and both sides, you can take this back section and it will slide perfectly to the bottom. Let me try not to knock this over because nothing is glued together. So just like that. And then this top section also has these two little areas here that will perfectly slide down the sides. Try to get this without knocking everything over. Okay, just like that. If this was glued, that wouldn't happen, but yeah. That is the final product. It's supposed to look like a mini arcade um, retro game. And then you'll be able to pull this off. You can remove these controllers from your switch. Let me turn it this way. So you will be able to slide your switch right in there. Put your lid back on. Come on, just like that. And that's how it's supposed to look. You can see with this design where I need to make some changes, there's still some black area right here. So I need to move it up a little bit like that. So the screen is perfect, but uh, that's gonna be easy fix. I can just go ahead and Fusion 360, make that change, print out another middle section and that will be good to go. And obviously I don't have any details on here yet. I'm gonna put some little buttons and like the analog stick for the uh, retro style arcade games, but let's take a look in the back and see what we have going on. So I made an area for a charger so you can run that through there and charge the switch while it's docked. Open back so it's a breathable design so you don't risk overheating. Um, you can see this is also a breathable design in the middle section. Let me just take this off. Yeah, so you can see it doesn't look the same. It's not going left to right. That's because this middle section prints upright so to avoid using support material or having any crazy overhangs, that's why it's um, slanted lines instead of left to right. But I honestly like the look of it. The back section prints flat so I could go left to right with um, this opening. This area will print up so they're diagonal lines, but I think it looks cool and yeah, this is how the design looks. There's also a storage area. You could put extra games in there. You could, uh, or you could, See, that's why you need glue. But yeah, you'll be able to put your controllers in there and it will be like that. And then the back and the top section will be removable. So you'll be able to slide this out without everything falling apart. Grab your controllers. You could slide that back in, put the top back on and you're ready to play. But yeah, here's a first look at the V1 prototype for the Nintendo Switch retro arcade display. I think this is gonna be a great product. The mini TV has been super popular. I think this will be just as popular, if not more popular. Got the breathable back area, storage area, area to run a charger so you can charge the screen while it's on the display. And then you can go ahead and add, you know, custom text, custom buttons. You could put your shop name there because this front panel um, prints completely flat. 
So it's gonna be pretty easy to add whatever text you want. You could also add custom text going along the sides or you have this top section if you wanted to put your shop name or you know whatever design you want on the top. But yeah, here's a first look at the V1 prototype. Like I said, I still need to fix this black area right there. Just move this screen up a little bit. That's what it should look like. And I think this is gonna be a great product to add to the catalog. So make sure you're following, make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see updates on this new product. Thank you for watching.